I'm Bill Gless. I am a classical and flamenco guitar maker. I came to Miami in 1994 when I was 23 years old, many years ago. Hello, my name is Steven Dentone. My goal is to build guitars that have a wide range of tonal color, so the musician playing them is free to express themselves. Beauty and sound is what inspires me. That is why I want to revive the Spanish sound of the legendary guitar builders of the turn of the 20th century and reintroduce them in the 21st century while keeping in mind the modern desires for volume and projection. Please feel free to contact me if you're interested in my work. I would love to get to know you.
Hello, welcome to this workshop, this workshop on Brazilian samba and jazz. Um, here's a little taste of what we're going to be learning. <laughs> Yes, okay, that's a little bit of One Note Samba, Tom Jobim's famous song. And uh, so, you've got your guitars available. You have them available, like next to you, right next to you. Can you grab one right now? No? Well, then go get one, <laughs> okay? Because this is actually uh, billed as a workshop, uh, not as a lecture demonstration. So I want to teach you something. I want you to be able to groove and kind of feel this uh, this uh, uh, infectious uh, rhythm, okay? And understand it in a way, uh, perhaps that you don't understand it at the moment, hopefully. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a lecture, a little bit of talking about stuff while you go get your guitar. Uh, also, um, I uh, have, uh, I'm gonna share a couple of documents with you in the miracle of 21st century technology. You can go to my uh, guitar, or sorry, my Facebook music page. And basically, it's easy. You go Facebook at Freddie Bryant Music, and right there at the top of that page is going to be a, a post that has two documents. Um, one is 10 samba rhythms, and the other one is basically like a chord uh, arrangement uh, with chord slashes and rhythms and chord charts and diagrams for what I just played, the samba, uh, the one note samba. So those are available right now and uh, they're for you to practice in the future, but also you can practice right now with me uh, on this workshop. If you just go there quickly, get your guitar, go to Facebook, download those, boom, boom, you'll be ready to to groove with me, okay? So, uh, let's see, where are we gonna start? Well, basically, how about the theme of this workshop um, is really Brazilian grooves, Brazilian samba groove, and uh, more specifically, Brazilian samba rhythmic feel and phrasing. And so, what's involved in that? Well, basically, swing in there. When you really understand this swing and this uh, approach, you know, you'll be able to use it in your accompaniment, your comping for people, uh, in your arranging, and uh, also um, soloing, of course. In my view, you know, the fundamental principles of, uh, and concepts uh, for exciting music uh, and groove kind of translate uh, the same to different kinds of styles. So most of the jazz people will think, uh, well, basically uh, straight ahead jazz has swing. And most everything else, like uh, Latin American music and Brazilian music might be even eighth notes or, you know, not swinging, okay? Perhaps uh, there's definitely a difference in terms of how the eight notes are being felt, but there's definitely a swing that's really hard and deep in all of those styles. It's all different, but what does it have in common? Well, in the new world, basically we all have uh, in common, you know, Mother Africa, 
And Africa is a huge continent with thousands of different styles of music. And I'm probably not exaggerating by saying thousands. And, you know, similarly in Brazil and Latin America, so many different styles. But they do share a lot. You know, what do they share? Um, polyrhythm. Um, they share um, kind of a, a, a connection to the subdivisions, to the small rhythms that sort of pulse through the music. So the subdivisions are going whether they're eighth notes or whether they're sixteenth notes or whether they're triplets. Right? So those subdivisions are kind of really what we're feeling. Okay? And of course um, syncopation. So for the subdivisions to sound syncopated, you need a beat, okay? So a bigger beat. So uh, in jazz, it's four to the floor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then if you play on the off beats, it's syncopated. Um, and well, let's see, like that happens in, in, in funk music too. And how you accent that will give you the um, syncopation and the urge to dance, okay? Um, most of the music in the New World really was related well, to the voice and to uh, movement and dance for various reasons. So um, that's really a, a big connection. In Brazilian music, you know, instead of the four to the floor, uh, you know, with James Brown was famous to say, play the one, you know, so one, two, three, four. But obviously what comes before the one and after the one is really important, but you know where that one is. In Brazilian music, you have the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two is really what you're thinking. You could also count it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but you wouldn't really have the feel. If I demonstrated that two, which I already did with my voice, I go like this one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? So what am I doing? I'm actually accenting the second beat, okay? So it's like a heartbeat that beats harder on the second, right? And I, I developed a little saying in my class at uh, Berkeley College of Music for the guitar department. That's a Brazil lab and learning how to play and, you know, feel the music. Um, I call it the three L's. The three L's. I don't know which way. I think it's that way for you. <laughs> anyway, so um, what are the three L's? Obviously, um, one could be low. One, two, one, two, right? So that's low. Or it could be long. Short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Okay? Or it could be louder. Soft, low. Almost make a, a ghost note. But even if you're not going down low, it could be like this. Or 
or the third, you know. And what's going on? This is my trusty little uh, pepper shaker or ganza shaker, right? This is the pulse and this is the heartbeat. I know Baji could do that pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, if you do this, that doesn't sound very swingy, right? Um, you know, we're not going, we're accenting certain rhythms. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And also, it probably helps us instead of doing this all the time. Da, 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 you know, see where it's going. Accent, accent. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one. Instead of doing that so fast with your fingers all the time, you're going to accent just some of the notes. So if you're going. So. All those notes that I'm plucking with my. I am an A fingers for all you classical players is uh, are from if you take a little picture of all the 16th notes they're they're just from the 16th notes ba 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 ga 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 da da ga do ba ga ga tu ba ba bu bu ba tu ba ga so obviously if you get the and one two one two the the third level of rhythm and I really have to thank my great friend and uh, <clears throat> you know colleague and mentor uh, Vanderlei Pereira a great drummer uh, Brazilian who lives in New York City and uh, he kind of first hit me to this uh, you know three levels again polyrhythms uh, of um, Brazilian music so you got the bass and you got the pulse and you got the accents. And so um, this thing here is the shaker. And then uh, there's a little small drum without symbols on the side uh, called the tambourim. And that is, uh, you know, it's like a, it's a small round drum, but it, it makes this kind of sound. So you go or right so there we are did you get your guitar I hope you got your guitar and I hope you uh, downloaded these uh, rhythms we're gonna start with rhythm number one we're gonna play the first four chords of one note samba. B minor, up in the seventh fret, uh, what they call a shell voicing. One, flat seven, and flat three. And the shell voicing for B flat seven. Sixth fret, one, flat seven, and three. And now you go to A minor 11, um, you'll notice if you're reading it, the fret number is wrong in that. That's a typo. But the low finger, the first finger is on the third fret. And of course, your root is on the A on the fifth fret. And the A flat seven flat five, all you're doing is moving the root in the flat seven down a half step. So now we're just going to be doing that for the 
a, a lot of this class, okay? But with different rhythms. We're gonna sort of tap, because this is tapping and with your fingers, which are gonna be the fingers that are gonna be playing this rhythm, which is the accents, which is the um, tambourine that we're imitating with our fingers. So <clears throat> number one of the samba patterns is this. Let me give you a count off first. One, two, one, two. So eighth notes are this. Okay, and sixteenth notes are this. We're thinking it in two. Okay, one, two, here we go now. Repeat. Again. Last time. Okay? If I did it really slow, it's one and two and. Anticipate. Okay? Let's do it without the chord. You get a count off. One, two. Let's do it with the chords. Let me give you a count of one, two. Okay. So you might have been surprised by me switching to the next chord before the next downbeat. Because on the anticipated side, if there's a 16th note right before the downbeat, we play the next chord that's in the next phrase, uh, next bar. So it's, and that's your downbeat. Downbeat, anticipation. your thumb is not going to be cooperating and is going to want to play the rhythms of these fingers. Okay, that's probably what happens with half of you, okay? Um, it's natural. But we're, just like a drummer, not as uh, sophisticated as a drummer, we're trying to work on independence. And we're playing polyphonic music. The guitar, you know, can do that. So we're playing a bass note and we're accompanying ourselves at the same time with these fingers. So, is again, the three L's. It doesn't have to be low, long, and loud, all, all three of them all the same. No, it could be one or the other, or it could be none of them. But in general, in the big picture, that's the big picture, three L's, right? And then you have on top, the rhythm. So, you know, by the time you get through this whole page, you know, you'll be very good at reading rhythms uh, in a Brazilian context. Here we go. With here we go. Okay, now I'd like to introduce Derek Campos. He's a great guitarist and also one of my students, and uh, he's going to join me uh, to help demonstrate these rhythms. And then that way I can talk on top of it, I can play on top of it, and um, you can play along with him on the uh, sheets that you've downloaded, uh, hopefully by now. Okay, so um, we're going to start with number rhythm number one from the ten samba. Uh, rhythms and uh, I'll just play it myself for the moment it's like this okay ready yeah. one two one two
Great job, Derek. Thank you very much for helping out. Did you all play with Derek? Okay. Um, if you did, perhaps uh, you could or couldn't really hear what I was doing. But if you listen to this over again, you'll notice that I was trying to play a lot of the more um, pulse-oriented, uh, faster uh, rhythms. Like the shaker, okay? And then sometimes I'd go on the off beats. Kind of almost always on off beats. And then sometimes I would just throw in some things here. But it, it kind of shows you right from there that that um, aspect of rhythmic polyrhythm, actually. So um, obviously, I was doing different rhythms than he was doing. And he was doing two rhythms at the same time because he was doing the thumb. Uh, so that's three, at least right there. We're going to continue on and just change this rhythm with one little thing. We're just going to put a tie on the last two notes. This great drummer uh, named Porcino, um, he really hit me to the fact that he said, that's cool and it sounds good with the, the, the tambourin. But it's kind of nice to play it as a tie. So instead of ba 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 ba, that's ba ba. And so ba 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 ah ba 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 ah ba 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 ba. So that ah boom 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 ba boom ba boom ah boom 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 ba 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 ah. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, about the shaking is the pulse and then the heartbeat boom, boom, boom. you can't have the pulse without the heartbeat you have a heartbeat you have a pulse you know the best way to learn this stuff is with a percussionist with the drummers and just feel that you're getting the drum inside your own self this is a two-bar phrase we have the downbeat Da ba ba ba, and the upbeat phrase ba 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 da ba 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 da down 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 up 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 down 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 up 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 up. Okay, so now we're gonna change that around. We're gonna go up 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 and down 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 up 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 up. Down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. We're still doing that tie on the last two notes, but it's on the last two notes of the first uh, measure this time. So it's like one, two, up, up. Okay, cool. 
Now, Derek is going to do it. You're going to play along with him. I'm going to play along with him. Uh, let's try it, right? One, two, one, two. pattern and there was no melody involved. Right? So my I, M, and A fingers are on the 4, 3, 2 strings. If you change to the 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings, Dividing up the rhythmic pattern. So you're gonna have like low, high, low, 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 high, low, low, high, low, low. So it sounds like this. So now there's like two rhythms going on there. There's the three rhythms, there's a thumb, and there's bop, 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 the same rhythm you're we playing. But there's also that one high note. High, 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 high. Right? So that gives you a little bit of extra um, flexibility. So you're not playing the same thing all the time, even though it's the same rhythm in a play. You're orchestrating the rhythm differently with your fingers. So you could start. Uh, low, high, high, low, low, high, low, low, high, high, low, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, Right? Cool. There's millions of, well, let's say hundreds of different variations if you start to include other things like long notes and short notes. So this is all short. But if you go. Already it's different. Or how about all long. Possibilities to change it by how you feel and how you feel the rhythm. So think about it this way, if we take the first 16th notes out of it on the second beat and only play a quarter note there, or an eighth note, sorry, right? And then if 
we do that, it sounds like this. So the cool thing about that is you can think of it as um, three uh, eighth notes on the downbeat. One and two, right? And then you have eighth notes on the upbeat. Up, up, up. So down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. So it's basically just playing eighth notes. Or if you're thinking in four, one, two, three, four quarter notes. Up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. So it's really almost like a, just a reversing of the feel. You have your downbeat, down, 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 and then you have up, 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 right? So three notes, down, 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 up, 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 and then we put another one there. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. But if you, got, you get rid of the last one, it's just down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. So now we're going to just go from number one to number ten. All the ones in between are really fun. Just read them through, go through it. And I actually, I have a link where I've kind of gone through it and demonstrated it. It's me uh, ten years ago with, with black hair. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, you know, check out that link. Uh, I'll share it. Uh, it's actually, if you share Freddie Bryant on Vimeo, you'll find it. And it's like a 12 Samba videos, which are coming from this handout. Now, I'm gonna get you into Partido Alto, but it's from the Samba, and actually Samba and Partido Alto, Bossa Nova and Samba, it's all uh, a soup, different flavors of the soup, if you wanna call it that. But you know, right now we're thinking of it as Samba and how it goes from samba into this Prachiro Alto. Right now, let's just think of this as samba. Number 10, I'll just play it uh, myself. I'm gonna start on the 16th note, pick up. So basically, I'm starting on the last note on the whole page. One, two, up, up.
finish it up we, to really connect it. Now, what's the difference between that rhythm and a parchino alto is that the bass is not playing quarter notes anymore. They're doing the syncopations. So, boom, boom, bam, boom, 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 bam, boom, boom, bam, boom, boom, boom. And if you want to go low, low, high, low, 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 high, low, low, high, low, 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 high, low, high. this out with what I started off the workshop with playing one note samba this arrangement okay so basically we were talking about all these off and on beat things you know two measure phrases one bars downbeat and another bar uh, anticipated you can also just have a lot of fun by playing off beats so the melody of this uh, is really um, lends itself depending on how the singer is phrasing but in general if you think of um, this all those are downbeats or those are all offbeats Basically, 
the, the downbeats are if you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the offbeats are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, four, one, two, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, so what happens is you have basically your downbeat. measures is different than the other times but um, that's basically what you're doing you're just having fun with the offbeats so really you can go like if I get away from the music now I'm just gonna be having more fun with the offbeats one two one two, one, two. So, a lot of people do that, but I like to surprise people as it's really done. It's not such of a surprise because it's really an arrangement that everybody does. Uh, at least everybody that knows uh, will do it on the offbeat. One, two, it's actually on the end. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stick around for the concert. Thanks.